tower, yeah. Mm. We could build a tower. Are you just getting in there? Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going today, mister? Can you remember? Santa! We're going to go and see Santa. At the Trafford Centre. What? So, Santa. The Traff Centre. Um, the Trafford Centre have, in Manchester, have a new experience called the Grotto. And we have been invited today on their PR trip. So we're just having a really chilled morning in our pyjamas and just playing in the playroom. Um, and then we are going to the Trafford Centre. We... Well, our book is at 4pm, so my tickets didn't come through properly. I've just emailed them now and they've just been sent through. But I didn't realise the ticket price. The ticket time was like the time that you're booked in to see Santa. And we're booked at 4, so we really need to get there for like half 3. Um, so we're going to leave the house just after 2 o'clock, I think. And then go and do the experience and then go and try and grab some tea. We have also had tickets for the tinsel town which is a separate bit outside but we're just going to see what the weather's like what the kids are like um because there is a finch's bakery stall which is meant to be unreal and i just thought that it'd be nice to get some bits for tomorrow night because on saturday night we do usually have a few treats whether that would be like a few cookies or a few like well they do really nice cookies i think um so yeah we're looking forward to that and you know what i'm looking forward well looking forward to it i'm already in it i'm in this right now um it's half nine in the morning but just being at home and just not really having anywhere to go Cass absolutely loves being in his pajamas to be honest and he likes me being in my pajamas so i don't well i've got a hoodie on but i've got my pajama <laughs> bottoms on <laughs> what are you doing eating your brother's dry cereal you're just dancing yeah look at the state of it in here can't even be bothered. Um, I try and tidy up between them playing, but they just trash it. Casper just loves to tip everything out that he's not even yeah. using. Hopefully it's a habit he'll grow out of one day, but right now I don't think he's gonna. I've just made myself a coffee, actually. I need to make sure it doesn't go cold because I am wasting far too much coffee at the minute by letting it go cold. What are you doing? <laughs> He just in Indy's car. Do you want me to pull you? Yeah. Yeah? Two seconds then. And me and Casper are about to bake some Christmas cookies. Never, well, biscuits. Never baked this sort of thing before. I want to I've just got the recipe off um, Sainsbury's website. Um, so we need to mix the butter with the sugar. It does say to use a blend, like a mixer, electric whisk, but I don't have one. So, let's see how this goes. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in Two hours later I've just got to swallow out Yeah, 
Yeah, thank you. But are you sprinkling? Well, this is what you need to do. Uh, Indy B, what are you doing now? She wants a snack. She always wants a snack. You should eat your dinner, Dad. Oh, my goodness me. Right, this is what I've got to do. I've got to knead it. I want to roll it. Right, you can help Mummy roll it. I've been so busy since we went to the Trafford Centre and I actually didn't, didn't film anything afterwards which again are you shocked because I am not um it's just me all over isn't it but oh my god it's raining why does it always rain on a Monday I always want to get up get the kids to like childcare get stuff done and then I pick Indy up early and I like to go on a nice walk and it's raining. Why? Why does it always rain on a Monday? Anyway, so we went to the Grotto Trafford Centre experience and it was really cute to be fair. I'm not sure it was worth what I think the charging for it but I don't know if that's because it was less than what I was expecting if that makes sense. Like it was a really lovely experience and the actors were really good and like the way it was laid out was really good but I just felt really crammed in in like the first section and then you literally just see excuse that banging Josh is in the gym with his brother um so you go into like this little section and they write the letters to Santa 
and then you walk to a door where there's a little elf and you write your Christmas, uh, you post the, your letter and then you go into the room where Santa is and then that's the end. All of that was lovely, it was just a lot smaller than what I imagined and I do think it's quite expensive. Um, so obviously we were very lucky enough to get it for free but I feel like if you've got like more than a family of four it does it is well I think everything's expensive isn't it but I feel like I don't know if I'd feel like it was a little bit too expensive to be honest um if you are watching this and you are local to like the Trafford Centre and you don't have much planned for Christmas at all and there's tickets left and you really want to do something then I would definitely recommend it um I just don't know if it's just a little bit too steep like if you've already got stuff planned and you're kind of umming and ahhing about it and thinking oh should we do it should we not um, then I just think yeah it's just it's just a bit expensive I think I think the whole experience was like 20 25 30 minutes and that was only because they were running behind in the first room so we were kind of left in there for like 25 30 minutes um, but then the rest of it was like really really quick but then I worked on Saturday then yesterday we went to go and get Casper's bike for Christmas that Josh's mum was buying and it we, to be fair we stayed at home most of the day but it was just a really lazy day like we had our pyjamas on till like 10 o'clock and um, just did loads of tidying up, made spaghetti bolognese for tea but I'm just coming on to edit this vlog now and finalising it because I feel like this is what I do every single Monday um, so it's just going to be like a little Christmassy day with me you'll have already already watched it by the time I'm talking about this anyway because I did all that Christmassy baking with Casper and Josh and Casper actually iced the biscuits on Saturday but I didn't get that on film because by the time I got home they'd pretty much eaten all of them <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching guys and I can't wait to bring a lot more Christmassy vlogs to YouTube and I'm just really looking forward to Christmas we're not getting our room I think I might have said this actually but we're not getting our whole downstairs decorated now till the 2nd of December. So we can't put the tree up till after that. Which feels like it's going to be a long time. Because I feel like everyone's putting the tree up. But it is the 20th of November today. So we've only got like two weeks to wait. I'm sure we can survive without a tree for two more weeks. And it'll just be nice because everything will be done and clean. And we'll have a fresh tree up and it will just be lovely but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well i would be ever so grateful